the reigning left and right hand overall Canadian professional champion. One word to describe this man being notorious, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bad Company, Adam Bergoglia. Get off my side of the table, let's get back here. I got a beer to drink, let's not take all day. I was actually a big, big Stone Cold fan. I just liked the persona that he had. You don't like me, fuck you. He's flipping everybody off, he's chugging beer, he's got the bald head. You know, he, he does what he fucking wants. I don't care if you're my boss, fuck you. We're headed to Padawala to shingle the roof on a carport that we just built. I hope they're fucking ready for us. I don't want to get there and wait. The first time I ever actually tried arm wrestling with a real arm wrestler, I mean, everybody had done it in the cafeteria in high school and everything else, but I didn't know it was like a full-on sport with organized competitions and, you know, provincials, nationals, worlds, pro leagues, or any of that. So my first time actually arm wrestling with a real arm wrestler was at the bar after work one night. So when he asked me if I wanted to arm wrestle with him, I'm like, sure, yeah, that'd be great. Let's try this. And I kept telling him all night, like, I'm gonna smash you. And he actually closed his hand and put two fingers in the air. He said, grab onto my fingers. So I grabbed onto his fingers. He's like, now beat me. And I couldn't beat two of his fingers. It uh, really bothered me. So I started arm wrestling every day against anybody I could find that would. And eventually I just started getting better. Check on that though. Fuck sakes, man. <laughs> we might have to call it a day and go get drunk. <laughs> go, Petey, go. Petey, are we gonna make it there or what? Maybe yes, maybe no. <laughs> Throughout the arm wrestling community alone, I'm better known for being a Facebook troll than I am for my arm wrestling abilities. I troll people pretty hard sometimes. What do you think, James? I think it's hilarious. <laughs> I get kicked out of it. And I get pretty rude. I, I get pretty fucking rude. There's always kind of an alpha thing going. You're, you're in a small town, everybody knows everybody. And you just want to know which guys are who. I don't like the general public. They, I don't trust people because they're not trustworthy anymore. Now, you did say that mailman said we can be loaded here, right? Said you could have a few. I didn't say loaded. Well, that's not what I heard. You can hear what you want. I said he told me we could have a few beers and it wouldn't be a problem. And I'm ripping I'm your phone book in half. I'm having a few beer, but I don't have a problem. <laughs> Get to work! What? What? I know, Petey's supposed to be fucking moving him. Yeah, I'm moving them further than you're even throwing them. But he's throwing them. I was a short little fat kid, nerdy little fucker. They're all parted to the side, you know, 95 average. Then I get to high school and I just started getting fucked with. And I had some kid like knock my books out of my hand. And he kicked my feet every step the whole way from my locker out to the bus loading zone. I turned around and I drove him in the nose as hard as I could and I busted his nose. He never did bother me again. If you fucked with me, I'd tell you, you know, go fuck yourself. Arm wrestling is not like any other sport in the world. You arm wrestle, people don't like each other, things get pretty hot sometimes. There's some yelling, some cursing, some swearing. You don't see fists flying too often because it's just completely unacceptable. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah.
with my frying pan. Wow! In the fucking face. Like, even the way I'm mashing potatoes, I'm either trying to work on my turning in ability to set my hook, or I'm working on my wrist and coming everything. Absolutely everything. Once you're an arm wrestler, you're an arm wrestler, and that's it. Everything you do is arm wrestling. Yeah, it's been challenging at times because he puts so much into it. Like, he puts his all into it. So, and sometimes I'm pretty needy. So, I want him to be all around. He's like, come on, but like, he loves it. He's good at it. I let him do his thing now. So, and just step to the side. We dated 12 years ago and then just got back together a year ago. So, nothing's really changed much other than we now have five children and a lot more responsibility. But other than that, we're pretty much the same. And this is where we get like fired up because he's not even trying. He's running away. Like, I get pretty fired up from time to time. I would just fuck with people, like hard. When I'm typing on the internet to people, I use incorrect grammar. I say stupid things. It amuses me. I don't know why I called you buddy. It's probably because I'm drunk and I like everybody when I'm drunk. <laughs> Not you. I mean, yeah, I get it. You, you lift your fucking weights. Elbow on the pad and run your wrist away from me. That's what I mean. Like it's it's softball without running. Like it's just everybody hanging out, having some beers. Yeah, it's a good time. Arm Melter is the premier professional arm wrestling league in Canada. Solid Joe Gould. He's a six-time national champion and left-handed, which is what we're pulling for. Joe's dangerous. He can beat me but I'm keeping my belt. I'm not worried about straps. I got this shit locked up, Joe. You just sit there and spend your time on Facebook while I'm out here fucking training, buddy. You just try to attack me while I'm drinking and still lose? Shut the fuck down. Joe, you can't beat my left. Nobody can. That's not how it works. Fuck you, Joe. You want me to smack your a little bit? That would get me amped up. <laughs> Probably would. <laughs> so Evan doesn't portray that gentleman at the table. He's uh, he's in your face. He's trash talking. He's he's trying to put you down and whatnot. Get in your head, perhaps. Ever since he's been champion, he's destroying every challenger that we put in front of him. I'd like to shut him up. It is a combat sport, and every angle of every joint in your arm matters. It's a full-on fight here. This match coming up is a match the entire country wants to see. The entire world wants to see this match. We have one of the most beloved men in the entire sport versus the most hated. Which one am I? Yeah, I'm not getting cheered for by anybody. I mean, even the people that are my fans want to see me lose. It's, it's more fun, I guess. But you never really made it until you have haters, right? Everybody can have fans. Haters. That's how you know you made it. Ready? Go! What's up, Joe? Uh, Isn't that crazy? Every story starts Isn't that already. Crazy? Uh, Evan is in hand control. John, why is it Joe Gould? Joe? What are the foul, Joe Gould? This is my table and my belt. <laughs> now get back here and let's finish this.
I don't give a shit. I don't need to be angry. I don't need to be focused. I can still smile and talk and look at the crowd and talk to them without letting him know just how close he is to beating me. I just can't help myself. I have too much fun up there. If you get to the best in the world, yeah, you can make a living arm wrestling. There's money out there to be made in the pro leagues. I get back down under 200 pounds. I think I can hang with some of the best in the world. Ah! Big hit! Get my breath! Keeps his Canadian professional championship. Everybody loves you, because you are the bomb. And this is why I lose my favorite. <laughs> you can arm wrestle, you're strong, but you have like so much knowledge that you can teach people and train people and help people, and that's incredible. Arm wrestling is my life. I, I do it every day. I do it at work all day. Everything I do, I'm arm wrestling, but I'm not gonna devote my life to making a weight class if I'm not guaranteed to make my living doing it. I still gotta work every day. I can't do my job without being fueled. I need food. Am I willing to give up 10 years of doing what I wanna do, living how I wanna live with the people I wanna be with and enjoying myself to do it? Well, I guess the answer is no, because I haven't done it. At the end of the day, I just, I like what I do. I like my life. I'm a pretty happy man. <laughs>